What is up guys? It is starting to get dark and I'm out here with Tyler and uh, we're gonna hit some cuts tonight together. Hopefully be able to turn up some snakes. In the last video, we had some incredible luck, relatively close to here. Um, got a beautiful gray banded king snake, a milk snake, and a couple other things. But tonight feels pretty good. Uh, I got completely goose egged last night, so you're not gonna see any of the footage from that. So this will be the beginning of the next video, um, assuming we actually find stuff tonight, but we'll, we're gonna get after it. I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes. Night snake, first snake of the night. Let's see if I can get the video up. Nope, he's bolting. Switched my phone. Well, we're a pass into the cut and we're already better than last night. Last night we didn't see a single snake. And uh, here we have our first snake of the night, a little night snake. As I'm sure you guys are well aware by now, these guys are probably the single most common snake out here. Uh, at least until the rattlesnakes start really moving in the uh, the monsoon season. So I'm uh, just going to leave this guy right here. Actually, I might call Tyler up and see if he wants to film him. But otherwise, uh, first snake of the night, pretty good sign. Oh, a black tail. Check that out. In situ just hanging out. He's probably not going to move, so I'm probably just going to leave him right there. Um, get a quick shot. Well, already two snakes and pretty much the first full pass of the cut, so I'm really hoping that's a good sign. Last night was super rough, and uh, we're already off to a better start, so I'm just going to leave this little black tail right here. I'll go tell Tyler where he is so we can come shoot him, but two snakes in my first pass, and I haven't even talked to Tyler yet, so he might have found more stuff, but I'm going to leave this black tail right here and keep on hiking. Alright guys, 10.30-ish update. We just lost a bear drat, our third snake of the night. He was up at the top of the cut, went into a crack. Uh, I have a pole for that type of situation, but it wasn't quite that long. So, unfortunately that guy did get away, but we're hoping he might pop out a little bit later, but we'll see. There's a night snake head sticking out of a hole right there. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Let's see if I can get my phone out so you guys can see it up closer. I know he's gonna suck back the second I uh, get very close to him. You can see I, on the phone screen now that I noticed that little dark spot right there. I'm gonna check, make sure there's nothing here hostile. Look at that head sticking out. Oh, he sucked back. Dang it. That was pretty cool. Can't even tell where he was. Oh well. Fourth snake of the night. Second one that's gotten away. Glad it was a night snake and not an alterna because that thing is gone forever. Alright guys, that bear die we lost earlier came back out and I was able to get him down with my pole. But look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. I think this is only the second one I found this year and I think it's the first one that's actually going to make it into a video. because the other night that I saw one, it was one of the only things we saw. And it was not nearly this pretty, so I didn't even really bother with it for photos or video. But check this out. This is the third and probably the hardest to find rat snake we have out here. Or at least they have the most limited range. You guys have seen plenty of Great Plains and uh, Transpagos rat snakes this year, but this is the bear rat snake. Oh, another bear die. Look at that. Well, there is the second bear rat snake of the night. This one's much smaller. These things are really good alterna lookalikes from a distance. Man, that stinks. As much as I love these guys, seeing a solid gray with a minimal pattern snake on a rock cut from far away always gives me a heart attack. But, this sharp looking little snake too. And uh, that bigger one especially was a really nice welcome find. But. Snakes are definitely out in good numbers tonight. I'm gonna photograph this guy really quickly and uh, go get Tyler. Check this out, guys. 
I have the GoPro running, but he's a little small to pick up with that. A beautiful little Texas banded gecko right here. Look at this guy. Go into that tunnel right there. Fortunately for me, I can see over here. started to slow down a little bit. Y'all know what time it is. Last time I popped a fudge stripe, I found an alterna, so we're gonna try this again. What are you doing all the way up there? The tarantula is halfway up a 20 foot cut. Just hanging out. Anyway, it's been a while since we've seen a snake. It's around midnight right now, I think, so I'm probably gonna stick at it for another hour or two and see how it goes. Well, at this point, it's almost 1 a.m., and uh, Cut Tarantula is just, it's going the distance. He's even further up the cut now and still climbing. Remarkable. Anyways, my GoPro's dead, so if I see anything else tonight, I'll try to get in C2, but it'll be normal iPhone footage, so. Uh, it's getting pretty late, though, and we haven't seen a snake in a couple hours, so who knows? We're gonna keep at it. All right, guys, it's been a while since we saw anything, but here's the next snake of the night that Tyler spotted. Solid looking little, uh, I guess it's an adult. It doesn't have the yellow tail, but it's a really small little transfigus copperhead. The first one I've seen in this canyon so far this season. So pretty excited about that. I normally see these guys here on uh, a different, slight, slightly different area of this canyon. We see them pretty commonly. Um, they're a little more uncommon here, but I've seen a handful here as well. But I consider this a pretty good find for this particular cut. Definitely a good looking snake too. We're gonna photograph him and let him go. Snakes are still out, I guess, just not in uh, the numbers they were at first. I think this is the sixth snake of the night, maybe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, try and speak of Scopperhead. What is up, guys? It is the next night. Tyler and I had a pretty successful night last night, but uh, we're out here again in a different area. Hoping to have success again. We had a pretty good night diversity-wise last night and actually saw a couple of pretty good finds too, like the bear giraffe snakes. Um, but this is an area I've seen a couple of gray bands this year and uh, hoping to see some more tonight. It's pretty good weather. But overall, we're just hoping to get a couple of snakes uh, in our lights tonight and have a good time. So we're going to get after it and I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. I'm going to have the GoPro running until it dies as usual. Um, it's a little tougher out here to do that because uh, the snake activity often starts so late at night. So I might not start recording until a little bit later to try to get some of the best window in uh, live recording. So we'll see. 10 p.m. update. No snakes yet, but here's a tarantula. Constellation prize. So here's the situation. I don't know how well y'all can see. There we go. There is a gigantic lightning storm a couple miles away. Uh, I don't really know how many. But uh, hopefully this will affect the pressure in the area we're hunting right now and get the snakes crawling. I was hoping I'd get a big strike. I had one just before I started recording. There we go, look at that. Awesome. There's an alternate in that crack. See that? Damn it. Well, I just lost my fifth alterna of the year. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see him in that video, but first snake of the night, I mean, they're out, so. I'm gonna keep at it. Hopefully I'll get lucky and catch that same snake out. And if not, maybe I'll see a different one. We'll see. All right, guys, 1 a.m. update. No sign of the alterna that got away, but it still feels great outside. And also, unfortunately, no sign of any other snakes. It looks like I botched the opportunity to catch the only snake of the night. And that stings.
Here's a little incidental cruise between cuts. The first snake we've actually gotten a good look at tonight. A little night snake. Of course, these guys are very common, so we're just going to escort this guy off the road. And I think we're going to go back and just work the cut the alternate guy away on for the rest of the night. And hopefully he will turn back up. But we're going to escort this guy off the road and keep moving. Why is there a speed foot toad up there? Take a, a good long gander at this guy right here. I swear to God, this is why we can't have nice things. What are you doing? It's not even raining yet. It's just windy outside. I'll take it. That's pretty cool. He's adorable. I'm going to leave him right there and keep on shining. 2 a.m. update. No snakes still, but he remains the guardian spade foot. Well, everyone, here's a sad conclusion to a sad night. You're going to watch as this rock magically turns into a toad. Oh, he moved. Never mind. Anyways, red spotted toad hanging out right here. Don't know if I've showed many of these guys yet this year, but they're really common. And uh, this guy's just hanging out on the cut. Tonight's the night of the uh, escaped alterna and, and toads on cuts. We're about to start the long drive home for the night. So if we see anything on the road, we'll stop for it. But if not, I will pick up where I'm leaving off right now tomorrow. What is up, everyone? It is the next night, the night after a uh, crippling failure on my part. Losing an alterna. One of the most insulting things that can happen to a herper. Having such a rare and beautiful snake just slip away with only two frames of still footage uh, in which you can admire it in the future. Uh, I will never really know what that snake looked like unless I find it again. But uh, that's not going to happen tonight because we're in a slightly different area. But the weather here is so good that I chose to come here instead of going back to where that snake got away. So we're going to hit this really hard tonight. As usual, I'm going to run the GoPro and see if I can get some live footage, but I will keep you guys posted on how this goes. 10 o'clock update. No snake shit, but it is ridiculously humid outside to the point that it's hard to breathe. Which is not something I'm used to dealing with in West Texas, really, but when you get over here towards the eastern Trans-Pecos, where we are tonight, it gets so hot and so humid. But we're going to keep at it. It's like deathly still. I mean, really the only thing we have going for us right now weather-wise is the fact that it, it has rained recently. So we're going to keep at it. I haven't even started running the GoPro yet because it's so hot still. But uh, once it gets to cool off a little bit more, I'll start running it. Hopefully we'll see stuff. All right, guys, Tyler just spotted our first snake of the night. There's a big subak up there. All right, guys. Yeah, if you fall, you're getting skewered by a cactus. Okay. Where's the other? The top right there? Yeah, that ledge. Holy crap, the bugs, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this down. All right. Oh my god, these bugs. Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time getting a foothold higher than that is the issue. Here, let's try this one more time. I can probably try from here. Oh. Come here, buddy. <laughs> here we go. Right where my hand is it here, is. You there you go. Got him? Yeah. Awesome. You're gonna have to use my GoPro footage because I had to put the phone down to do that. Right. I have my GoPro on too. Cool. All right.
Alrighty guys, well there you go. Tyler and I were able to team up and get this guy down using the uh, alternate and pole and Tyler's climbing skills. But first snake of the night, nice Transpecos rat snake. Anyways, we were just gonna snap a few quick photos of this guy and let him crawl back up through his rock crevice. Good looking subog. And I think my first from this area too. Can't remember any others. Cuculata. Got it. <sighs> Whoo! Solid black head too. Yeah. Alrighty guys. Well, I'm not sure how good the video came out. I kind of panicked. It was really hard to tell where he was going and what he was doing. But huge, beautiful Tantilla Cuculata, Transpecos black-headed snake. Uh, here at the eastern portion of their range, it's actually unusual to see one of these guys with a solid black head like this. Um, these are a protected species in Texas. I have a permit to handle them and collect data on them for the university. But uh, we, very, we know very little about these snakes overall, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to discover a few things about them over the course of the summer. Uh, we've already found the first recorded gravid female that I know of, and this one actually looks like it might be gravid too. So we're going to see if we can count out how many eggs she's got inside her, if she is gravid. But either way, beautiful snake, awesome find. Definitely makes the night for me if we don't see anything else. And it's only the second snake of the night. It's about 1230 right now, I think. Uh, so we still got quite a bit of hunting ahead of us. So we're going to get back to it and let this girl go and see if we can turn up anything else. All right, guys. So only two snakes so far tonight but both of them were pretty good finds subak i'll never complain about and a trans pecos black-headed snake pretty cool anyways we're gonna keep at it really hoping there will be some all turnout tonight but even if we don't see one it's already been a pretty solid night so can't complain about that i turned around while walking the cut and spotted this guy another little couch of spade foot toad with all this rain these guys have kind of been everywhere but always cool to see they always have nice coloration on them nice and green this guy's got a nice little maze pattern kind of going on, but really cool little frogs. I'm just gonna move this guy off the road and keep shining. Here's the next find of the night, another little Texas banded gecko. We haven't seen a lot of these lately, but just hanging out in this crack. Gonna leave him be. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. If this moth would stop flying around. Anyways, it is about, I think, 1.30 right now, something like that. Still no snakes since the Kukulata. 